Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. Did I tell you that I found what I thought was a stray cat yesterday? No. At yeah. your house? Yeah. He was hanging out in the backyard and all of a sudden Matt's going to shower and he looks out our back window and he's like, Carly, there's a cat in our backyard. What did you do? You immediately like, yeah! I was like, oh my God, there's a cat. <laughs> I was like, should I go out there? And he was like, I... You do what you want. Yeah, you're an adult. I was like, should I bring him food? And he's like, I don't care. Just, if you do it, just be careful. And I'm like, oh, you know what they say about stray cats? You don't feed them because then they keep coming back. I know, I know. Well, and I, I wanted to go out with food as more of like coaxing him in case he did need help. Right. Mm. So I get out there and he's like munching on something, probably some grass, because I went over to look and there was literally nothing there. So like it wasn't like he was munching on a mouse or something like that. Um, and he comes up to me and he's super friendly, starts eating some of the food and he's got a little collar on, like no tag, but a collar that's very much intact. He looks like he's been brushed recently. So he's the word well is taken out. care of. Like, Carly's a crazy cat lady that this, will take good care of you. No. <laughs> so all the cats know in the neighborhood. This cat, <laughs> this cat is definitely like indoor outdoor cat yeah. and is doing just fine. <laughs> he's just mooching off of me. Uh, smart cat. I know. <laughs> so uh, speaking of cats, it's an important day for you. It is National Pet Day. I know. Best day ever. You're celebrating. Obviously. And celebrating one of my cat's birthdays today. It's going to be perfect. crazy. It's perfect. Carly's going to need tomorrow off because it's I just think so. Gonna a- it's going to be a rager. <laughs> <laughs> so get this. This is a story that I can't believe. A survey that I can't believe. National Today did a survey. Okay. That revealed 10% of people have a special voice for their pet. I think it's way more than 10%. I think everybody that has a pet. Yeah. Oh, who's a good girl? Yeah. Like, everybody does uh-huh. that, right? I would agree with that. Definitely has to be more than 10%. It was only 10, they only said that 10% of people do that? Uh-huh. Yeah, no. And I think that's perfectly fine. I don't think that's crazy. I think no. it's crazy when you, you think your pets are talking back to you. <laughs> <laughs> does your pet say anything, Carly? No. Just, like, the look on their face, the way they meow at me is like, you know, their communication. Cats are the worst. Like, it's hard to communicate with cats because they have the resting bee face. Yes, they do. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> are you happy or not? Well, and most of the time they're screaming at me because, oh, my God, my dish is empty. I'm going to die. <laughs> Little divas, right? <laughs> Let me ask you this, Carly. Mm-hmm. Will you tonight during the birthday party, <laughs> will you sing happy birthday to your cat? <laughs> uh, Maybe. <laughs> That's so funny to me. I love my cat, but <laughs> we don't have children. Are you, will there, will our, there be hats? They, they will there be kazoos? No, there will not be hats or kazoos. No, okay. no, no. They'll get a. They'll both get a special treat because I don't want to leave one of them out. And then she'll get <laughs> she'll she'll get a little present like a new toy or something, but. <laughs> No, there will not be a candle either. (laughs) Blow out the candle on your little salmon pate. (laughs) (laughs) Come on, Moscato. (laughs) Let's talk to Kristen this morning. Kristen, you got a dog that can talk? My grandpa's dog, whenever we be like, Zeke, I love you, he'd like bark and go, I love you. And like say, I love you back. Or my uncle's name is Robbie. So every time we'd be like, Zeke, say Robbie, he'd be like, (laughs) <laughs> sounds like Scooby Doo. So, sounds like a husky. Yeah. <laughs> Huskies you... talk a lot. <laughs> I've seen. I mean, I've seen the videos of dogs on YouTube, uh-huh. and it does sound like they're saying "I love you." Oh yeah. Does your pet talk? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Open the one hundred six point nine KROC app right now. Chat with us, or give us a call five zero seven two eight one twenty four hundred. Let us know. Can your pet say anything? So I've got this story here, Carly, about the nicest celebrities in Hollywood. And I think this is so interesting because we don't know these people. So let's go through these. And based on what you know about them, do you think they're nice or not? Okay. Taylor Swift. I think she'd be nice. You think she'd be a good friend to hang out with? Yeah. You don't think she's like... A diva? Constantly on edge, worried about (laughs) everything. Her image is everything to her. No, I think she'd be fine. I think she'd be nice. I feel like her image is to be nice, though, too. You know? I think that's a, a lot of these celebrities. So we got the list of the nicest celebrities. Kelly Clarkson is on here. We both don't like Kelly Clarkson. Like to me, it seems too forced. Why. 
It yeah, seems like that's... it's part of the act. Yeah. There's a couple on it. Like Oprah's. I think Oprah is probably nice. I think she'd be fine. Yeah. But I think Oprah on her way up, probably uh-huh. the same thing. It was part of the act or whatever. Now she's a billionaire. She <laughs> she doesn't need to care about anybody, right? So she can be nice. <laughs> right, right. Uh, other celebrities on the nice list. Tom Hanks. Yes. 100% nice, uh-huh. right? Yes. And if he's not, I feel like I wouldn't want to meet him in case he's not nice. Because I'd be oh, can you imagine? I'd be so upset. How about Ed Sheeran? I feel like he'd be a nice dude. Uh-huh. Yeah. Lady Gaga? Oh, I would die to meet her. <laughs> I feel like she'd be amazing. Adam Sandler? Mm. I think Adam Sandler would be super nice. Eh. Like, literally, he takes... All of his friends are in every one of his movies. <laughs> He makes sure to take care of his friends like David Spade. Nobody cares about David Spade other than the fact that Adam Sandler puts him in his movies. Paul Rudd. Yeah, I think he'd be fine. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq seems like a fun dude. I think seems Shaq like a nice seems guy. like a fine guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about Ryan Reynolds? Oh, I want him to be nice. I think he's so funny. I love how he... Comes off as like the funny guy, mm-hmm. but I'm so he's he's one that I'm worried about <laughs> the don't meet your idols kind of thing. I feel like you can't be nice if you're also beautiful and funny. <laughs> and according to all accounts, he is both beautiful and yes, funny. Yes. So I feel I like sorry, like you can't be nice too. <laughs> I know I want him to be nice so bad. How about The Rock? Oh, yeah, I think he's he's another one. He's up there with Lady Gaga with me for me. Like I yeah, I really want to meet him. According to this story, the, the nicest celebrity out there is Keanu Reeves. Oh yeah. I don't know anything about Keanu Reeves. Except that he like donates all this time and money and does then he do that? He never wants anyone to know about it. He never tells anybody he doesn't wanna he doesn't want to draw attention to himself. I didn't know that about him. That's pretty cool. Who do you think the nicest celebrity is? Open our app right now and chat with us. The FBI is warning people to not charge their smartphones in public charging ports because scammers are infiltrating them with malware and spyware and can get access to your personal information. Wow, okay. Now, this is for the USB hookups. Like at airports or at the mall or whatever? Correct, yeah. So don't use the USB ones, like bring one of the little blocks so you can plug it into the wall. That's okay. Um, Or, you know, you could bring a portable charger, I guess. But I always forget to charge mine, so that doesn't help me at all. I know, right? (laughs) There are plenty of dog-friendly patios here in Rochester. I've got a list of them up on the 106.9 KROC app. I probably miss some because there's probably a lot of them, but this is a good chunk of the dog friendly patios now that it's getting nice out. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're not a dog owner. <laughs> I just don't, when I go out, I don't like to hear panting or begging or barking <laughs> or unruly dogs. I mean, I yeah. suppose it's the same when like people go out that don't have kids. They're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But of course, you know, if your dog's not good in busy areas, not good with other dogs, not good with new people, just. Just leave him at home. He'll mm. be okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He'll All be right. more okay if you leave him at home. What, what's the list? 18? Uh, I've got 18 on here, yes. All right, check that out right now on our app. There is a way to get into Minnesota State Parks for free this year. Free is good. Free is always good. There's um, different free days that the state parks do throughout the year, but the one that's coming up soonest is coming up on April 22nd for Earth Day. Hopefully we get good weather that day. And go I for a hike. know. Yeah, that'd be great. And finally, there's something back in Rochester that some people are excited about. Some people are like, oh, my God, I want to die. <laughs> the Lime scooters are back. I saw them while I was driving home. They just got them lined up on the sidewalks waiting. Waiting. <laughs> waiting. <laughs> They're for, fun. For some hooligan to come around. <laughs> <laughs> ride them in the street. <laughs> well, that's what you're supposed to do, right? I know. Ride them in the bike lane, though. Like, don't be dumb. Ride them in the bike lane. Be safe. You know. I mean, I think that's things. why people have a problem with this. Yes. Because people are stupid with it. People are afraid they're going to run over somebody. Yeah, 100. percent Yeah. There you go. News or snooze for today. You can get more local news right now on the 106.9 KROC app. So, a Minnesota woman has been picked for the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah. She gets to travel the country. 
I'm a little jealous, which sounds really strange because I'm married, but like, I'm a little jealous. It sounds really cool. Potentially, she could find the love of her life. Yes. So it's 50 states, 50 dates. Is that 50 dates, 50 states? Whatever. Yeah. However you say mm-hmm. it. And it's on TikTok. It's a TikTok bachelor show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's sound- because it's much smaller than like The Bachelor, for example, mm-hmm. it sounds actually legit. You know, you're not going to get a bunch of yahoos or try- who are trying to get fame like The Bachelor's turned into you. How does it work? Who is paying for this? So, <laughs> okay, so first of all, the Minnesotan who has been selected, her name is Olivia. Okay. And she um, was selected out of 1,200 applicants to be the new like lead of the series. She'll be going on a road trip across the country with the creator of the show um, doing a date here, get in my van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's weird. Well, they have a 50 dates, 50 states, like, truck okay. that they'll be taking on on the trip. But they'll be driving around to every state except for Hawaii and Alaska, of course. And she'll be going on, like, a full day date with whoever has been selected. There so are- they arrive Tuesday. She goes out with Jeff all day. Right. There explores is a, the city, goes a on a date. Lunch, and then she- activity, and dinner planned for each date. And, and if things go well, I what think, happens? Does she say, okay, enough. I don't want to go to any more states. I love Jeff. That I don't know. That I don't know. Okay. But I'm assuming you have to go on all of the dates because otherwise there goes the theme. You know? <laughs> how quick do, How quick do they balance from state to state? Is it like... She's going to be doing... Let's see. I think that said that she's going to be doing eight dates every month. Okay. So... She's already done the Hawaii one, actually, because she was oh, already. Yeah, let's pick that one was, first in the winter She was already time. on a trip with her family there. And so they were like, well, let's just do it. Uh-huh. So obviously no details on how that went yet because that has not come out on TikTok yet. But um, so eight dates a month, eight dates a month. That's about four days per state. So she's going to be completing this in about six months. Most of the time is going to be spent traveling. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there are a whole bunch of guys who applied to. Court Olivia okay. <laughs> and uh, from like, you know, they have to say who they are, why they're interested, like um, what they do on this date. Yep. They have to submit a picture so she can be like, oh, yeah, I'm into him or oh, that's not my type. Have you know, you ever kind seen of a thing. corn cob water tower, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you around our city. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And how this is paid for. So she gets a salary for being on the show. OK. And the dates get paid for from sponsors and the TikTok uh, creator ads. fund. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that comes from ads. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. And she graduated from the University of Nebraska Lincoln, which so. is the coolest part about mm-hmm. it. I noticed when I saw the picture. You I'm saw like, the picture. Yeah. You were like, Little "Oh big my red. god, she's a Husker!" And I'm like, "Sorry, oh, Olivia, Lord. I'm taken." <laughs> It could have been magic. (laughs) All right. If you want to check out more about Olivia, you can read her story on our app. Duncan and Carly. Weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.